thing and support volunteer organisations. Thank you. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Call Thank you. Uh, Madam Chair, it's a pleasure to ride and uh, rise to actually speak on this um, bill. Uh, this is my first opportunity and I, I hope uh, to actually speak um, uh, in this debate. And um, considering the fact that I have never done this before to move a supplementary order paper in my name, I, I hope I don't completely cock it up. Um, I haven't actually felt so passionate about this as uh, other bills as I have about this. You know, one of the things that I was actually sitting while other members um, have actually talked about it, and I have to say, uh, the member who just uh, sat down, she's my sister from another mother, Denise Lee. Um, you know, I agree with her in terms of the exemption um, uh, uh, um, and my, my supplementary order uh, paper is also under the Clause 5 Amend, new Section 65 under exempt to use, um, uh, actually add a, a segment, 65AF. And uh, what it basically does is, apart from the volunteers that my learned colleague on the other side have actually said, Denise Lee have actually said, I would also like to include uh, emergency services like the New Zealand police, the fire, uh, St. John's Ambulance Service, Wellington Free Ambulance Service as well, because they have so little pot of money. Recently, I was at a fundraiser for the, um, the, um, the New Zealand St. John's Ambulance Service that the ethnic communities do. Actually, it is the Taiwanese Business Women's uh, Association that does a fundraising event for them. And every so often, they do this fundraising dinner and they raise enough money, just enough money, to deliver them a rapid vehicle for the St. Uh, John's Ambulance. And because St. John's is not completely funded, they rely on donations, the goodness of the community to actually deliver for them. And to actually slap another tax on these people, the police, the fire uh, service, the St. John's, the Wellington Free Ambulance Service, is shameful. It is an absolute shame that this government wants to tax these services that do an amazing job for New Zealanders. I mean, what I think should actually happen is that the current mayor of Auckland should not be spending almost a million dollars deciding whether there is actually feasibility of moving Eden Park to downtown Auckland. Spending almost a million dollars in cons consulting to decide whether Eden Park should go to downtown. Instead, now he actually wants to tax, <coughs> this government wants to tax ordinary New Zealanders for their petrol, including these emergency services who do an amazing job. I believe that the emergency services should be excluded from the tax that this government is trying to put on all of New Zealand. And um, the police service, you know, having actually talked about the police and praised them before, they do absolutely amazing job. They are there when people need them. Every single emergency uh, workers actually, you know, put their uh, life on the line. Actually, for the police, they do. They have done that. You know, I have been a victim of crime. I have actually said that in this house before. When I had a home invasion in my house, and I was ringing the emergency services. They were there so fast and having to calm me down to make sure that I wasn't actually going irrational and actually talking to them. I think they should not be taxed, extra fuel tax for the great work that they do. And I mean, considering the fact that there are thousands of vehicles operating, whether it's actually the fire trucks or the police um, cars or the ambulance, uh, there are so many cars on our roads that do amazing work by these organizations, and I do not believe that they should be taxed, Madam Chair. So I'd like to move my supplementary order paper in my name in committee stage to um, uh, amend section 65A under exempt to use to add new 65AF to make sure that all of the emergency services, such as the, um, the fire service, uh, the New Zealand Police, 
St. John's Ambulance Service and the Wellington Free Ambulance Services and any others that I haven't actually thought about, hopefully, uh, that they are exempt from this tax. Thank you, Madam Chair. Very timely, Paul, because my, my proposal...